morning everyone. Hi, I'm Anne here from Anne Makes on YouTube and please follow my blog also at annemakes.blogspot.com and today I have a small Dollar Tree haul to bring to you. Uh, this is my second time at Dollar Tree this week. I went back because I wanted to purchase uh, more of the Frozen, Disney Frozen sticker box kits that I showed you in my previous Dollar Tree haul and lo and behold because I was there on Monday and I went back yesterday which was Thursday and they were all gone there was nothing nothing left so uh, and there were a lot when I was there on Monday so that means uh, it's a you know a lot of people thought it was a good deal too and they sold out of it but uh, while I was there, I did pick up a few other items. I The first thing I bought was the um, box of salt. We were out of salt, and uh, I didn't know it on Monday, so uh, that's what I, I bought a box of salt yesterday. And by the way, I am from Canada, and the items at Dollar Trees in Canada are $1.25 uh, versus uh, $1 in the U.S., so that's that's all that's the only difference there is the other item I picked up is I a few of these boxes I took the believe in the magic of Christmas and the reason I purchased these because I thought they were shallow enough to maybe store my collection of Christmas wood mounted stamps um, I have them currently stored in a in a box that is taller and there are layers of the stamps so it's hard to find the stamp I'm looking for so I just thought maybe if I had them stored in a few of these boxes stacked I would make my searching for that one stamp uh, a little easier so I'll see how that goes now the other thing I picked up I was walking by the aisle where they have the uh, automotive and home repair things and they had some more of these lovely so soft uh, microfiber cloths intended for cleaning your car and, uh, and I, I just got a, a light bulb moment and I thought oh these would make great beards for those gnome men uh, like the like the shit crafty share cupcake is making over on her channel she's made these little gnomes and she has this fake fur for their little beards and I didn't have I don't have any of that white fake fur in my stash so but I saw this at the Dollar Tree and I thought oh this would be a good uh, replacement so that's why I got that this was brand new they had uh, they didn't have these on Monday but they had them yesterday these pads of paper they are the jot brand it says they are decorative sheets but they were on the side where the office supplies are like a writing notepads i guess you, you could use these as writing notepads too they're the same size uh, so i got this one that says make my day with this lovely pink and inside there are does it say there are 48 sheets of paper in here and show you the different prints it's very very light colored you can definitely write on these the, the prints are in very very light color but you can also use these as uh, decorative uh, craft papers and they're, they're very thin they're thin, like thin writing paper um, it's, it's really hard to see but this is very subtle little yellow dots on the white background there and then you have this print and this one also so i thought well there there's a dual function for these you can use them for writing but you can also use the paper for uh, some paper crafting crafts and this one i thought was real a real fun cover it says let's hang out <laughs> with the monkey there i thought that was really cute and inside the papers uh, mimic the cover a bit they have these little triangles and so you have this like light blue shade of triangle you have several sheets of that and then you have this sheet these sheets which is um, 
They look like palm leaves, green and on white. And then you have a whole bunch of these little golden colored triangles, sort of similar to the cover. And so there's several sheets of those. And then my favorite one is the one with the animals on it. So this black and white print of these lovely animals. So uh, check check for these in your Dollar Trees. I think these are a fun, a fun find. And the third uh, one they had is this one. It says Hello You with the lovely pineapple. And the papers inside are very similar to the papers in the first pad I showed you. This one is mostly uh, like little polka dots, tiny, 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 tiny little dots of color. And then you have this like hive design one and some little triangles spotted triangles so I got those they had some more new books so I picked up this one uh, called dear mr. president Thomas Jefferson letters from a Philadelphia bookworm uh, and uh, my my guys are into history and political history and stuff and I just thought uh, this would be a nice book to add to uh, well, my 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 other son, my youngest son's collection of books, and there's all sorts of letters that were written to uh, the president Thomas Jefferson uh, at the time. So I just thought it's it's a nice compendium, and there's some interesting images and uh, lots of line drawings, and uh, there's a few photographs in here of uh, historic. Well. Not historic buildings, but some buildings became historic buildings. So I got that. And the other one I got him is uh, called Crooked by Rustin Austin. Sorry, Austin Grossman. Um, the real Cold War was uh, the living against the dead. <laughs> and here we have the president of the United States. Um, could be the current one. Sorry. Uh, Nixon is a mask of uh, Nixon. It is a fictional book, but um, inspired by true events. So I, I think my son will enjoy that read. And uh, I had to buy another package of the Irish Spring Soap because the last ones I bought to use as mice repellent in my house were actually used by my boys. They needed some soap, uh, which is fine. They don't attract mice, <laughs> I can tell you that. Though so I had to buy a few more bars so I could go store these in uh, my garage where the bird seed and grass seeds are where the mice tend to gravitate. I also bought a purchase of envelopes um, package of envelopes, uh, five envelopes in here for mailing packages. Oh, and by the way, if you don't know, uh, I re this kind of soap is good at repelling mice, so that's why I'm going to use this in my garage. Um, and oh, this Dollar Tree that I go to frequently finally had some tartar control kitty treats. So I do like to get the tartar control ones for kitty. So I got a couple bags of this and they will go in her stocking. Yes, Kitty has her own stocking. And I was in need of some emery boards because I don't know where my other 100 emery boards have gone to. So I just picked up this package. And uh, last but not least, a little pack of these uh, little socks, the slip-on socks uh, that are great to wear in like dress shoes or something. Uh, I wear these more when um, I'm wearing shoes in the summertime and, and stuff. But, so yeah, I got these little sockies. And that's it for my little Dollar Tree haul. 
Uh, following this, I will be taping my Dollarama haul, which was quite substantial, so you might want to uh, stay tuned for that now or come back um, when it's convenient. So that's it. And I want to thank you so much for watching. I would so appreciate if you subscribed if you haven't already done that. Please like, comment, share, and uh, update my studio uh, rebuild will probably not be completed before the end of January. I had a little conversation with my contractor the other day and uh, I'm not very pleased about that, but, um, you know, delay upon delay and uh, other things that have happened. Uh, it looks like my studio will take a little longer than I had anticipate being built. Uh, so, you know, this, this, that is what it is. And so in the meantime, I will do my best to... Uh, do videos or try, I will try to make some crafty videos uh, with the current setup that I have and it, it will be uh, kind of low-key and uh, no frills really <laughs> but I, I will try to make some in there somewhere so thanks again for watching and I uh, hope to see you soon again take care bye-bye